guys, what is going on? We got a service behind us, as you can see. 2003 Honda CRV. Let's get started. All right, guys, I'm writing out the sticker right now. Um, in order to change the uh, the light on there, there's a light that'll say maintenance required. What you do is you uh, turn the vehicle off, obviously. And then the little button that you change from trip A or trip B or whatever, hold it down, hold it down like this, turn the ignition key back on to the on position with the engine off and hold it for approximately 10 seconds and the light should go off and once it goes off you turn the key back on or off and then you turn it back on to make sure that it's gonna illuminate and then go back off and then you're done with that section of it all right so this is the 2.4 liter four cylinder dual overhead cam all that crap um not sure if there's any other engine options for this year model but this one has the 2.4 and it's going to take 5w20 oil and uh i'm fixing to raise it up here in a minute and uh we'll get started on the underneath all right guys so this, here's the old plug right here it's going to be a 17 millimeter and there's a cv shaft um i don't know if you can see that orange up there that's the oil filter see if i can get up here with the camera and get a better view of it there she is right there and I have the filter right here as we carry Napa filters and Napa will be a 21356 as you can see and that will get that off so I'm gonna go ahead and get this draining. Hey right, guys so while that stuff is draining actually I'm just waiting on the oil uh, for where the oil filter was at to drain now just for safe measures I already put the oil plug back in but while all this stuff is draining uh, go ahead and take the time if you if it's possible i understand a lot of the a lot of you guys that watch these kind of videos are going to be doing it on the ground and yes i have the door open in january because since early in for it's the first day since early in december that it's hit 60 degrees so it feels pretty good so i opened it up but while you're under here if it's possible go ahead and take the time to just check stuff over you know uh i try to go over this in all these videos but sometimes it slips my mind, you know, like this vehicle has a carrier bearing right here. If that goes out, it'll make a lot of noise. And some people probably already know that, but you know, just check, make sure nothing's leaking under here and everything just looks right for the most part and air up your tires and all that stuff if possible. You know, everything is if possible, I understand. A lot of people just do this in their driveway to save money, just to get the oil change, get it out of the way, take care of the other stuff later. I understand that, but I'm saying if you can, you know, feel free to at least just look at everything, you know, make sure everything looks somewhat sound. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this oil filter back up in here. And uh, it's kind of a, a sound I'm going to get to, especially if you're laying down on the ground, I'm sure. But um, after you get done fighting with it and everything, it's, it is possible. I had to go over the top of the CV shaft. Let's see if I can't show you guys. Get in here. I had to go over right here and got it that way. So, but, um, after you get the oil filter wrench back on, or the oil filter on, we're gonna go up top. Um, I'm assuming this thing will probably take around four or four and a half quarts. I'm gonna put four in it to start off with because I'm not sure yet. Or actually, I'll probably just go and refer to the book and check the book first. And uh, I'll see what it says there. And I will relay the information to you guys here in probably just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go up top right now. Hey right, guys, here's the engine IV Tech 2.4 liter overhead cam. Dipstick, the, where you put the oil in at. There's the, the cap, 5W20. Now the book said 4.4 or 4 .4 quarts of oil. So that's what we're gonna put in it today. All right guys, so after you put your 4.4 quarts in, or four and a half if you want, probably won't make that much of a difference. After you put that in there, you start it, let it run for a minute, uh, let it fill the oil filter up, probably about 10 seconds, give or take, until all the lights usually turn off on the dash is usually how we do it. And uh, you shut it back off, get out, Check the dipstick, wipe it off, dip it back in there, check it, make sure it's full. If it's full, you're all done, you're all set. Um, if not, fill accordingly. Um, so with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this upload. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, you know, I don't have very many subscribers. Well, I have a lot for me, but I don't have very many for YouTube standards. So, feel free to subscribe, and if you do, hit that bell icon. That way you get notified every single time I upload. And if you're new, or if you're a returning subscriber, or to my new subscribers, uh, thank you for showing up. And I will see every one of you guys in the next upload.